What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Haven't had a video out in a little bit now. Uh, things have been crazy, crazy busy this past week. Apologize for that, but big announcements come in right now in this video. So to start, a few little things. Just remember, guys, if you like what we're doing on the channel, make sure, remember, click that thumbs up button. Give us that like. Make sure you're subscribed. Ring the bell for notifications. Share with your friends all that good stuff. Uh, if you don't know how YouTube works, basically the, the more interaction I get from you guys with the channel, the more YouTube helps to kind of, I guess, um, advertise the channel, show it off, put it in people's recommended videos. So the more, more I get, the bigger, the better the channel grows and the better it does, um, the bigger, better things I can do for you guys. So keep that in mind. Just remember to click that thumbs up. Give me a like if you would. Um, next little announcement, uh, show off the shirt I got on. I got in my straight clipping apparel so if you didn't know check out straightclipping.com that's s-t-r-8-c-l-p-n.com or dvsdesignsapparel.com they've got all your straight clipping gear check them out many different colors sizes all for your straight clipping stuff they got decals they got all kinds of base head stuff there go check them out we even got a promo code right here it's a uh, hashtag straight project spl i'll uh, i'll roll the promo code here on the screen i'll put it down in the description get you an extra 15 percent off your order so make sure and use that over there at straightclipping.com aka dv dvs and not devious it's the letters d v s designs apparel i'll put all those links in the description down below but 15 percent off your order with the promo code hashtag straight project spl now um Next little update for you guys, this weekend, coming up Saturday, we will be in Muscle Shoals, Alabama for Triple Fest. So me, the whole Sundown crew, we're all making the trip over there. We're taking the big, uh, we got it over here at the side. Walk over here real quick and show you. We're taking, there it is, the big Sundown F650. We're hooking that up. We're hauling Project SPL all the way to Alabama. It's almost a nine hour ride for us over there. Heading out there, um, we're bringing the whole tent, everything, setting a booth up, showing off Project. I will be there with plenty of Project SPL swag, t-shirts, decals, selling them. So if you're looking for any Project SPL gear, I'll be there with that. All different types of size and colors available. We'll have the red, white, and blues. We got some brand new updates going on with that stuff. New stuff um, as far as the t-shirts go that will be unveiled at that show. Now that's Triple Fest, AKA Incriminator Audio Show. It's fully sponsored by Incriminator Audio over there in Alabama where they're located. It will be at the fairgrounds in Muscle Shoals, Alabama this weekend, Saturday, April 27th. Make sure to come there, check us out. Check out me, Project SPL, all the sundown stuff will have products on display for you to see, touch, right there in person, check it all out. So next, um, well, while I'm on that with, with the uh, Project SPL, the t-shirts, the decals, all that stuff, I'm working on getting a website set up, hopefully to have it set up soon, so anybody that can't make it out to one of the shows I'm visiting, you can just hit up the website, pick your stuff out there. Um, I will go ahead and put also in the link of this video, all the information for the show will be out this weekend as well as all future shows we plan on going to. We have a uh, almost non-stop list of shows we're going to from North Carolina to South Carolina to Alabama, Tennessee, um, Virginia, TD8 show coming up. We'll be there. We'll be in Indianapolis for some biology coming up. Tons of shows this season um, all over the country this summer. So put a link to all those in the description. Uh, next and the big one, big update going on. I, I hinted to this on, uh, I think my Facebook. I don't know if I put it on Instagram, but I hinted to this on Facebook earlier this week. We got a new project. So it was something I knew I needed anyway, and I figured why not go ahead and make a project out of it. And um, so to get to the point, last show I used my Denali. It's it's over there on the other side of our, of our Duramax. Um, that's the company's truck. The Nolly's mine. I used it to pull Project SPL. It did fine. It's got the big 6.2 liter motor, tons of power, but it's still only a 1500 truck. It's just a half ton SUV. Those things are set up like unibodies, coal spring suspensions. I've got it all beefed up. I've got some engine work done. It's got nice brakes on it. I made sure it had all new brakes. 
uh, pads, rotors, everything was completely replaced before I made that trip. All of it was brand new. I've also got the suspension beefed up. We got an air suspension in the rear of it that I can pump up and adjust and have it to handle extra weight, but it's still just a 1500. So I wasn't sure how well it would handle towing Project SPL. Again, I didn't know the exact weight till after I made the trip and saw how it went. And I'll be honest, it did it, but I wasn't really happy with it. And almost every trip, we leave from here where we're at in Claremont, North Carolina. Every twip, trip we gotta have head west up 40, we run straight in the mountains. And I just thought I needed something a little better to pull that thing through the mountains. Even with my brand new trailer, trailer brakes, all that, I went and got me another truck. I'm not gonna say a brand new truck, a new to me truck, it is not brand new. It is a 2009 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. Um, it's almost exactly what I was looking for. So we got three quarter ton truck. It's a 2500 HD. So we got the eight lug life, beefed up suspension, motor transmission, everything. I got the crew cab. So if I need to take some people with me, take my kids with me, the family, all that. I got plenty of room. I got the bed. So um, this thing is very strong, plenty strong enough to haul that blazer all over. It's got the beefed up, the heavy duty frame, all that, blah, blah. If you're familiar with 2500, you know, it's gonna have no issue towing that truck. It'll do it way better than my 1500 Denali will. And I don't have to, I don't have to abuse my other truck so much. Got me a new rig and we're gonna nickname this hashtag project tow pig. Might seem silly, dumb, whatever. Keep it simple, call it what it is. So what are we gonna do to it? Um, a lot. So let's first go through, I'll show you. You see the outside. We've got the 18 inch wheels. We got some slightly bigger tires and it's just overall, it's a good looking truck. I love it. Um, fell in love with it almost the first time I saw it. All it took me to drive it. As soon as I drove it, I knew this was the truck. I checked out a bunch. I must've looked at, I don't know, a ton. Looked at a bunch of trucks, went and test drove several trucks. None of them as good as what this one was. And um, yeah, anyway, it's a little dirty right now. We had some rain come through over the weekend and, and splash up on it. So uh, I'm trying, trying to keep it clean. But we'll go through, show you the inside. Show you what we got. So nothing super fancy, but it'll, it'll get the job done for what I wanna do. But here's the important part, and this is where y'all can share your inputs with uh, what you think I should do. So like I said, this is gonna be my next project. And when I mentioned this, I know on Facebook, I said, what should my next project be? Um, and a lot of people, I know there's a lot of votes for mini truck, but that was my last project. Something I didn't really have the YouTube channel going back then, but uh, I had did a mini truck. So I don't know, it felt like this was a vehicle I needed anyway. I got it. So we're gonna do a nice daily install on this and we're gonna do the works, everything. Gonna do it in stages, little by little. So we're gonna do door speakers, amplifiers, wiring, you name it, it's all gonna get done. And we're gonna do it little by little, just as if the typical everyday guy bought him a nice truck, and just wanna throw a little something extra in it. Now I do know to start off and keep it really simple, I think I am gonna keep my factory head unit up there. We're gonna leave that, and I'm probably just gonna get a nice line output converter wired up in here, show people how you can just add on. You don't have to spend a ton of money up front replacing everything and do it all at one time we're gonna do a simple add-on do the line output converter and uh i might even start where a lot of people start with i know some people they they ignore everything else they'll leave that factory head unit factory speakers and they just want base immediately base that's probably what i'm gonna do to start just like i know a lot of especially the young guys do go for the base now if you're not familiar these things underneath this back seat they have a ton of room I mean an absolute ton. I've already been doing some measuring and checking it out. Well, yeah, I'll fold this up real quick and show you how it opens up. So we're gonna make use of this. We're gonna get us some subs down here. So uh, this is where you can give me your input. What do you think I should run? What would be, I don't know, I would say the, the, the most favorable setup for shooting a nice video, something people would like to do. I know, uh, I've seen a lot of guys do the eights and the six and a halves things, um, get them under here, especially the forward firing. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I, I like it, it works, but I'm not a super fan of the forward firing subwoofers. If you got kids or you like to put a lot of stuff in your back seat, you use it, you use it as a storage, a cargo a lot, things can hit those subs, things can mess them up. I'm leaning towards doing 
a nice down firing setup and leaning towards doing some of our shallow mounts um i don't know maybe some tens a couple twelves a bunch of eights y'all tell me what you think let me know in the comments what kind of subs you would put in here should we do the sa six and a halves um should i wait till the new x six and a half show up do those in here should i wait till the new sd4 show up they're uh working on those we got some prototypes out right now should i work on the sd4s but those in here uh, i don't know i ain't figured it quite out yet i, I got kind of things i'm leaning towards but let me know put that in your comments this is your chance to influence our new build here project toe pig what kind of subwoofers are we going to do so yeah subwoofers are going to go underneath the back seat i know i'm going to do that just i'll figure out how much room i got what kind of a uh, surface area i got for fitting subs and probably try and maximize it but i think uh, as much as a little bit of a pain as these are the uh the backs of the seats don't fold down but i think i want to use that room there's a decent little bit of room back here I believe i'm gonna try and use that to mount the amplifiers just to make it easy i know sliding the a box underneath the seat is really easy but i want to get those amps tucked away and hidden somewhere i don't plan on needing to adjust them or swap them out or do anything after the fact so i think once i pull the seats out get the amps mounted it's a set it and forget it type kind of thing so that's my current intentions get them in there of course wiring will have to come first and again all this will be in stages we're going to start at the front we'll get a full wiring kit ran we'll get the amps mounted we'll get the subs installed then later on we'll, we'll um, hit the doors we'll get door speakers done and then probably the last will be my head unit install and i know that sounds backwards but again i'm gonna try and do it the way i think most young guys just trying to hurry up and get bass in their eyes i'm trying to do it the way they would do it so that's why i'm gonna start it do it that way but uh that's it here we go and yeah i know she's dirty got a few little scratches because again it's not new i don't like buying new vehicles you lose so much money buying new vehicles right off a lot i prefer to get used ones and um plus i just feel like used ones you can uh if the vehicle is gonna have an issue a major issue it would have already done so I looked this over, checked it out, test drove it. It's a great truck. Uh, I'll go and show you something else. We'll, we'll see if we can start an argument. So if you haven't already noticed, we'll point out the badges we got. This is not a Duramax. This is a gas truck. Uh, give me a second. Uh, so here we go, all dirty. It is a 6.0. So we've got a 6.0 gas motor. This does have the six speed. It's new enough. It's got the 6L, uh, 6L80 six speed transmission in it. Great transmission. I've got one of my Denali. I know how good it is, but this is a six liter motor, very strong gas motor. It's got plenty of power. I've owned a 6.0 in the past. I had an old 2500 Suburban that was a 6.0. I know it's gonna do great. So here's where I'm gonna start the argument. I don't like diesel trucks. And I'm just throwing this little in there just, just to see if I can get y'all going. Uh, that Duramax right there has more money in repairs than pretty much what I paid for this truck. Um, I think Brandon's, if you can see it way back there in the distance, there's a Dodge. <laughs> that Dodge has more money in repairs than what I paid for this whole truck. And um, plenty of guys I know that have Fords, They've got so much money in bulletproofing or repairs. If they didn't get it bulletproofed ahead of time and something blew up, they've got more money in repairs than what I paid for this whole truck. And I just know um, for what I'm doing, I don't, I don't need to tow 30,000 pounds. Hell, I'm probably never gonna tow 20,000 pounds. I know with my other truck, the Blazer, everything, we we're only about 14,000 pounds gross. This will do that easy. Easy, no sweat. and. I don't hear no blah about gas mileage, whatever guys. I've driven diesels. I said, we got plenty of diesels here. I've driven them. They don't, they're not Superman. They don't get miraculous gas mileage, um, whatever. But that's it. I can't stand diesels. Forget that. I'm not paying for all the repairs. I know so many guys right now who own diesels who are just shelling out money, hand over fist for repairs. Man, forget that. I can put a whole new motor in this thing cheaper than what one of those repairs costs a lot of those guys. So. That's it, yes. I specifically went out, got me a gas truck, got some other mods come in besides the stereo. Stereo's the main thing, obviously. This is, you know, we're, we're from Sundown Audio. We do a lot of stereo stuff, but we're gonna do some other things. So hopefully you're interested in that and the videos get a little attention. I know some of your small, simple things like 
window tint, swapping out headlights. Um, probably gonna do me an LED light bar down here in the bumper. It's got a perfect spot for it. We're gonna do some engine mods, just like I've got a little bit of work done to my Denali. I'm gonna do the simple intake, exhaust, full length headers, custom tune, all that stuff. It's all coming. And we're gonna document it all right here on the channel, little by little. Definitely gonna keep it engine wise, especially at least stock for the first tow, which will be TD8 show. Uh, Criminator show, we're taking the Ford, we're taking the F650, but in TD8 show, uh, I don't know if the rest of the guys here are going yet, so I plan on using this, hauling the truck. So I'm gonna keep it stock as it is, make that first trip, and then do some uh, mods little by little so I can see how it changes, how it pulls better, all that fancy stuff and whatever. So I don't know, that's it. Introducing Project Toe Pig. Here it comes. Might even use this as a, a points chaser here and there. Pull it into the uh, base race lanes, SPL lanes, put up a little number once I get some subs in it. So let me know what you think. Uh, remember, click that thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell for notifications. If you wanna see a nice, everyday, simple daily build come in, there won't be four NS2s or huge cap banks, none of that stuff going on here. It's all gonna be basic, simple. Let me know what you think I should do for subs. Put that in the comments. Let me know what you think of the new project. Put that in the comments. Let me know what you think of the fact that I can't stand diesels. Not at all. Uh, let's start an argument in the comments. You know, change my mind. But um, that's it. We're gonna end this here. Don't forget, straightclipping.com, check them out. Promo code, hashtag straight, Project SPL. I will put all that information in the comments. Remember that. And um, until next time, guys, I will see y'all then.